just make yourself at home. That's that's what we say at our church. We say, "Man, the Lord." There you go. We uh, and we try to every chance. Life is different. We try to every chance. Again. Yes, we are. We are all different. Um, it's good to have uh, it's good to have some of our folks with us tonight. My wife did. Um, you always wonder why things happen the way they do, don't you? Yeah. You th you think, man, this is crazy. Uh, uh, seems that way to us. Don't yeah. Much. A few months ago, I, we were living in Winston, and then we started renting a house in East Bend. And I got a phone call about a week ago. Said uh, we're getting ready to start on your new house. Uh, you don't need to live up there at East Bend no more. Sounds good. <laughs> I told the lady that we were in the house from, hey, we don't need this house anymore. Two days later, three days later, she calls, she calls me back. She says, hey, look, there's a young couple that wants to rent that house. Uh, you care if they try, drop by on Saturday night to see you? I said, no, I don't mind. I said, give them my phone number, tell them to get in touch with me. They got in touch with me, they drop by on Saturday night, Sunday morning, they was at home down <laughs> We never know what God's going to do yeah. Just simply because he wants to. Amen. Right. What God wants to do right. is what God's going to do, no matter what. No matter who wins the election in November, yeah. God is going to get the glory. Amen. Yeah. God's going to do what yeah. he wants to do. Yeah. And it's all going to be for our good. Yeah. Amen. How is it supposed to be for our good? They're going to raise our taxes. <laughs> They're trying to choke us to death now. Yeah. But now wait a minute. Esther chapter 4. And verse number 14 says, For if thou altogether holdest thy peace at this time, then shall their enlargement and deliverance arise to the Jews from another place. But thou and thy father's house shall be destroyed, and who knoweth whether thou, thou art come to the kingdom for such a time as this. We never know what's going to happen, but God's already got it planned out. Amen. Listen, before Adam and Eve ever came into the Garden of Eden, right. Calvary had already happened. Yes. God made sure that Jesus had already went to the cross and suffered and died to save our unworthy souls before Adam, Adam and Eve were ever even created. God knew the end from the beginning. Sure. There is no surprises with God. God never sits back on His throne and says, well, what am I going to do now? Never makes a mistake. God's always got His checkbook balance. Oh, yeah. Listen, why in the world would I want to worry about what the stock market's doing when my father owns a cattle on a thousand acres and pays the driveways with gold? Why would I even worry about what my bank account has in it. He says, I will meet your needs. Yes. yes. He did Always not. Fair. He's never said, I'll give you everything you want. <laughs> he said, but I will meet your needs. Yes. He said, I'll take care of it. Yeah. Right. So why in the world? Why in the world? I'll hug your neck later. <laughs> I get to see him two days a week. I don't get to see y'all work out. <laughs> yeah, ain't I like <laughs> Yeehaw. <laughs> now, but the thing about it is, we get, we get up tight over that stuff, don't we? We do. We do. Why? We're human beings. Yeah, you know. yeah. We're human beings. We stress out. We stress out easy. Oh. Yeah. Why in the world do you think they invented privacy? No. Man, oh golly. Oh, yeah. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Right, give me another pill, Doc. Yes. Listen, I got a pill that cures everything that's wrong with you. <laughs> Only thing about it is you can't swallow. Yeah. It's gotta be it's gotta be given to you. Yeah. And it's gotta be given to you intravenously. <laughs> Anybody know anything about intravenously? Yeah. That means it's gotta be put in your blood. That's right. That's right. See, when Jesus cures you of everything that's wrong with you, Amen. He does it through the blood. Yeah. Amen. Okay. He, that's right. He's got to give you a heart transplant. He's got to work on the inside of you. He can't work on the outside of you. Right. Listen, there's a, there's a whole stack of health 
self-help books out there. Oh, yeah. That they ain't never done no good for nobody. Nope. They ain't worth the pray, paper they're the printed on. Sure. They ain't worth sitting on fire. <laughs> Only thing they're good for is keeping the house warm in the wintertime. There you go. You can't self-help yourself. Nope. Listen. Self-denial. Listen. All them fellas sitting right there. All them guys. Was you born preacher? Have you been preaching your whole life? Uh, listen, some of us, some of us, I will tell you now, am neither worthy to loosen the strings that hold his shoes on hey, oh, uh, mercy. <coughs> or carry this book. Much less preaching. Hey, listen, I know where I come from. Yeah. Yes, sir. I know where I start. I know who I used to be. Yes. But I ain't who I'm going to be. Amen. And it's not because of me. No, right. Listen, I had I tried to self-help myself. Yeah. Hey, listen, I tried to self-medicate. Yeah. You know what I'm talking about. Oh, yeah. It don't work. It don't work. Amen. There you go. Been there, done that. Rub in you. I thought I recognized you. Yeah. <laughs> hey, listen. Anybody up here will tell you. And anybody back there will tell you too. It's only Jesus. That's right. There you go, brother. That can take two old grunts uh -huh. yeah. right. and make a and make a hell, a home. Amen. Yeah. And take three little youngins yeah. and start bringing them to church. They Amen. sit, they sit yeah. right there on the end of that bed. Yeah. 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 This, I'm gonna tell you something. Yeah. I was laying there in the bed one morning, and way off in the distance, I heard a bell ring. Man, that, that one eye come up, you know what I'm talking about. That one eye come up, I thought, man, what in the world is that? That's a church bell. Man, I ain't heard one of them since I was a kid. Holy Spirit leaned over, stuck his mouth right up against my ear, and he said, boy, if you don't get out of bed, you're not going to live to see yeah. anything of it. He said, day's your last day, you got to get up. Yeah. I about broke my neck getting to the church. <laughs> and I've been there ever since. Hey, Lord. Listen, I know better than to do what I was doing. Yeah, yeah. yeah I did too. Spirit of God. But right there it says, For such a time as this. For such a time as this. Listen, how are these people supposed to know that Jesus can fix you of anything? How are they supposed to know if Jesus won't take away your drinking habit? There you go. How, how are they supposed to know that Jesus won't take away your drugs and everything else if we've never experienced it? Right. It's called a testimony for a reason. Yes, sir. Yeah. That's what Mordecai was telling the Esther. Mm -hmm. He said, Esther, he said, God's going to save the Jews one way or the other. Yes, sir. He said, either you can be a part of it or not, it don't make no difference to God. Now, either you're going to be a part of this or you ain't. Because you're in the palace. <laughs> there you go. Just because you're in the big house don't mean, Ooh, yeah, don't mean you're going to get to make it. Nobody. Listen. God saved us all for a reason. Sure. Now, every one of you right now knows, and, I'm, and when I say this, you'll know who I'm talking about. There is somebody in your life right now that as soon as I said that, they come to mind. You know that your testimony is going to be able to do something for that person's life because they're going through the same thing right now that you did 25 years ago. You know it to be a fact, and you know who it is. Sure. Mordecai said, listen, you can be a part of this or not. It don't make no difference. No. God's going to do it anyway. Verse, verse number 15. Then Esther bade them re return to Mordecai this answer. She said, send him this answer back. Go gather together all the Jews that are present in Shushan and fast ye for me. Neither eat nor drink three days, three days, day or night. I also and my maidens will fast likewise. And so I will, will I go unto the king, <clears throat> which is not according to the law. And if I perish, I perish. I perish. That's right. <laughs> Listen, when are we going to get to the point that we say, live or die, I'm going to make my life count for Jesus. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Listen, the world already out there, we 
We already know what kind of shape they're in right now. We know that. We've been there. We've been there. Yeah. We've been there. I know how messed up that place is. I was part of the plan to mess it up. There you go. I tried. I did my level best and played my part. And you know it, and I know it. We what? We ain't kids. We're all grown up adults in here. That's right. But also too. She had to finally make a decision. She had. To, she finally come down to it, and she said, "All right." She said, "I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do. Yes. Live or die. Doesn't make any difference. Yep. Perish or not." She said, "I'm going to do what I'm supposed to do." Yeah. What about us? Yeah. Got to that point. Have, have you got to the point? Have you got to the point of saying? Live or die. Yeah. In sickness and in pain. Yeah. Till death do you part. Remember them marriage vows you took? 54 years. You ever took did you take them with Jesus? <laughs> did you take them with Jesus? We it says we are the bride of Christ. Yeah, it says we're the bride of Christ. Yeah. You ought to read through them marriage vows sometimes. <laughs> in sickness and in health, for richer, for poorer, yeah. till death do us part. Yeah. Yeah. Well, if we got eternal life, <laughs> we ain't going to fall. That's right. We ain't never going to fall. Now, he's, <clears throat> listen, he stuck his neck out for us, didn't he? He did. He went all the way. Yes. What have we done for him? <clears throat> he, he went as far as he could go, didn't he? That's right. He went all the way to the grave. What did, what did we do? What did we give up? Listen, the only thing we did was give up sin and death and hell. That's the only thing we give up was sin and death and hell. What did we get? We didn't give up much, did we? <laughs> we didn't give up no whole lot. That's no. right. Matter of fact, it's kind of hard to give up something when somebody's already got the keys to it, ain't it? Are you going? Yeah. Are you going? Yeah. What are we going to do? I got a whole church full of me. I love, we do, don't we? We got them from this house to this house. And I love them. I got them. I've got them now where they talk back to me. <laughs> yeah, I like it. But you know what? Like I said, everybody up here, everybody up here, none of us started out where we're at right now. And none of, of y'all started out where you are either. How much better off are you now than you were? Oh, much. Oh, much, much better. I promise you. But you know what? What has God ever asked for in return? What did God ask for in return? You. That's all He asked for. That's all He is. He just asked for you. He didn't ask for your life. He didn't ask for nothing. He said, I just, he said, I just want you. That's all I want. That's all I need. Right. Yeah. I'm good. I'm good. Appreciate it. Well done. Appreciate you coming. Yeah.